Last year I travelled to Tuscany and I spent about two weeks in a little village, Canto del Maggio the place was called. This is one of my favourite dishes from my experience and I'm going to replicate it. So these are small zucchini, they're called grey zucchini, marrow, they're also called Lebanese zucchini. So I'm going to blanch these in some water, so rapidly boiling water, I'll just season it with a pinch of salt and in they go. Now I'm doing this because I am going to use the flesh and I don't want to double cook them. So we'll just cook it at this stage. So I'm just going to pop them in there for about one minute just to soften slightly and then we'll take them out. In this time we need to cook our couscous. So in a bowl I'll measure one quarter of a cup of instant couscous. We just need a small amount of couscous for this because the zucchini are so small. We need a quarter of a cup of water and I'll just take that straight out of our pot. We'll cover our couscous, season it with a pinch of salt and we'll cover this with some glad wrap. Now we're going to allow this couscous to steam and swell up. It'll double in size and because it's instant couscous it won't take long at all. Now the water has come back to the boil so these are cooked and we'll just use a spider to scoop them out and we'll just let them cool down enough to handle. They're piping hot at this stage, so we'll pop them to one side. Now for some herbs to go into our filling. I have a combination of herbs. At Canto del Maggio, they had the most beautiful veggie patch and the herbs they had, they had so many different herbs and they really used them in all of their dishes. So to pay homage to that, a lot of herbs for this dish. Some chives, finely chopped the chives. By all means, if you don't want to buy all of these herbs, just use one. You can hero some chives or some parsley or basil. And the remaining herbs, we'll just pick some basil, some parsley. It's okay, some of the stalk goes into this. And finally, some fresh mint. Okay, we're going to gather that together and I'll finally chop it. Now run your knife through your herbs a few times. I want it to be quite fine. Okay, excellent. Let's have a look at this couscous because we do want to separate the grains. I'll open that up. Yeah, see how it's swelled? We're just using our fork to separate the grains. Wonderful. Now we'll pop all of our fresh herbs into the bowl. I'll add some capers for saltiness. I'll just run my knife through these capers a few times. They are small, but still we want to make sure everything's roughly the same size. And these capers are just capers in brine. You could also use the salted capers. Just give them a really good wash. All right. Now for some crunch, I'm using some pine nuts that I've roughly chopped. And for the cheese, pecorino cheese. So a good handful of pecorino cheese. And to bind everything together, one egg. We'll crack that into the bowl first. Give it a little whisk. Pour that in. And then the final binding agent is some ricotta. This is my favourite ricotta, ricotta delicata. It has a lovely fluffy texture, so a few spoonfuls of that. And with the back of a spoon, mix everything together. Now we do have the saltiness from the capers and the pecorino, but I still want to add a small pinch of salt and freshly cracked pepper. Just crush everything together. Excellent. Now we're going to take our small zucchini and I'll cut them in half. And you can see because we've blanched them, they are softer. I'll use a melon baller, but you can use a small spoon. And I'm just going to scoop out majority of the flesh without breaking the back of the zucchini. So just carefully do this, take your time doing it and we're essentially making a little nest for all of our lovely filling to go into. That looks good. And the other side. Okay, good. Now with my knife, finely chop 
the inside of this zucchini. And all of this zucchini flesh is going to go into the sauce later. But I want to show you how fine I want it because I want it to dissolve in our crushed tomato sauce. So we're just wanting to finely chop that just as is. Okay, we'll pop that to the side. And now to fill these beautiful little zucchini, we'll pop it in our hand. We'll grab a spoonful of our cheesy mixture, even it out. And we're going to put this back together. So we'll fill the other side of the zucchini. So we'll put the sides together. So it's almost like a little surprise when that comes to the table, you'll cut into it and there'll be that lovely pecorino and ricotta filling. Okay, I'm gonna finish filling these and then we'll go on to the next stage. Now that I've assembled the zucchini parcels, we can now place them in our tomato and zucchini sauce. So I've finally chopped all of the flesh. I'll add three quarters of this can of crushed tomatoes. We'll reserve a little for the top. We'll give that a mix, make it even. And I like to add a small sprinkling of our pecorino. I just reserved about a tablespoon. We'll add some salt to season the tomatoes freshly cracked pepper and extra virgin olive oil. So a small drizzle. Okay, now for our zucchini, we'll just place them into the sauce, nestle them in. Probably can get about four next to each other so they're snug. And I like to put them sort of head to toe so the bigger base and we'll match it with the smaller side of the zucchini. Now for the remainder of the crushed tomatoes, we'll just sprinkle that over the top. I don't want to drench it in uh, crushed tomatoes, so a small amount. And we'll just spread that out. Good. Finally, the last sprinkling of our pecorino cheese. Now this goes into the oven, 180 degrees. I'm not going to cover it because I do want those tomatoes to really cook down. And it's gonna take about 25 to 30 minutes. How good does this look? It smells delicious. And I love how the zucchini have slightly opened up to expose the filling. Absolute delight, 100% vegetarian. And even if you're not vegetarian, you're gonna love this.